Okay. You okay, have a little bit of a shadow. where the shadow is coming from. All right, I think this is better. Oh, sure. I think that's okay. The shadow is kind of uh, here, then I'm not gonna pan up there, so. Okay. Um, actually, this one, um, should I have a bit of light? is I think best I can do it at this point. So we can go this one a little bit. Okay. I have a drone on it. And I am going to put this one has doesn't have much of a yellow, but I think I'm going to start with the yellow. I actually cannot redraw it. So I can see things a little bit better. And if you see this flower, it's this flower I actually kind of uh, pasted on it to make a, a better competition. And this one was kind of, it's too separated. I just kind of uh, put it together to kind of fit into the paper better. So I have to draw this one with a little bit. I'm just going to have some hoops that I'm going to have one here too. This one, I think this is the stems and I'm going to make skinnier this one here and redirect this one into here. So 
this one coming from here, but this one actually from other plants. Just whatever. All right. And now, actually, I can actually get this one to remove. I'm going to have cat and yellow light or medium. It's kind of a mixture of everything. I'm just going to put this yellow on the leaves. And this one has lots of a white, so I didn't freeze get it. I can just kind of paint around this one. So this one is actually, I will know exactly how long it took to paint because this is the first session of the live. I will um, try to paint this one, I don't know, until some point. And that stream, uh, this live is gonna be done. And I will not paint this one set, uh, at, kind of by myself. And I will just kind of resume this one exactly where we left off when we start another session, if that is what's gonna happen, so. So I will know exactly how long it takes to finish that painting for the, this one. Okay. I will not go yellow onto the uh, flower. This flower is kind of very pinkish lavender and uh, I don't want yellow to go inside. Uh. So this is my when I put this yellow on it and it, um it's gonna kind of give me an idea where the stems is kind of anchors it. So when we go, um, when I go to workshop or teaching, we do this, I show this one little by little instead of uh, uh, painting a whole thing there because it's gonna take too long to uh, finish off every corner. But I thought this way, if anybody like to see it from the beginning to end, you can see how tedious that can be. And this is stems. I know this is the stems. I put some yellow on it, so take it. So stems and the um, right over the stem, I forgot what, what you call, colleagues or something. And that one, I am applying this all those yellow. This one.
All right. This is kind of a yellow I have. And I know that probably I'm going to need some yellow on the flower, but I think as I am going to apply kind of a little bit. I think I will do that instead of waiting. I'm going to have two brush. Yellow is going to be center. Yellow is going to be always better anyway. So this is where... So this where the yellow is going to be deeper color. So maybe center parts. And other area, if I need it, I can always apply later. So I think so. I will just kind of maybe I'm going to have a very light. I think so. I'll move on to the next one. And upper one, it's kind of, I have a hard time reaching it. So I'm going to put this one upside down. And my reference is going to be upside down too. Okay, I think this is kind of this is just a yellow part. And usually I would like to dry everything at this point. But let's see. And I'm going to move on to permanent rose, maybe. I 
It has very light purplish. If I look at this one, this one has more pinkish. This one has a little more purplish. Maybe this the new uh, flowers maybe a little bit pinkish, and bottom one was maybe a little more purplish, lavender. Okay, and I'm going to have. This is permanent rose. I am going to start, maybe I'm going to go with the, um, okay. Maybe I'm going to mix one, I already have the color. Diaxin purple. This one is Winston and Newton, and this one is M. Grant. Let's see how it goes. Which one's better? like this. All right, maybe I'm going to apply this one. It might be even a little bit better than frisky, but I think it's okay. Let's do it without frisky. I am playing very light because this is going to be light parts of the more likely. Because I didn't have a frisket on it, I'm going to do this one little by little to save the light instead of trying to swash all over the place. It's very cool. I love this house. Okay. It's going to be plus and all over. I don't mind having blossom on this one because there's going to be lots of a little um, kind of little detail will be added to later. So for me, blossom is going to be kind of part of a texture. So the main thing is I wanted to make the, this area kind of where the light is. You know, I could have just kind of gone all over. Lighter area, a little bit lighter. Because... I'm being a little bit cheeky and I gotta go this one a little bit brave. And I'm telling you guys to be brave, 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 because I'm getting chicken too. So 
here. So I'll just Okay, I'm going to find this part. And I think so what I have to do is I'm going to make a little lighter. I'm going to go all over first. And I will darken it this one later because there's so many lighter that I think this one is going to be a little I'm keeping too much white, which is not good, so. And upper part, I'm going to add a little more permanent rose and I will just kind of go with this. Hopefully it's right. I think I will do the same thing, but this one is a little bit of a bluish. Everything kind of dried, so I was just gonna go over. I 
I see this for a little bit light, so I keep this one a little light. All right, I'm going to make, let it dry first. I'm gonna put it upside down. Okay, pretend this is all dry. I add a little bit of a permanent rose to make a little redder. So whatever that I'm applying, it's kind of mostly lighter. It's a highlight. So both parts much lighter. Figure this one out. Okay. I'm keep wrapping color. Okay, I have to redo this one. I think it's a dried enough. I'm gonna go for this one. Lighter lavender. I think so, the flowers are covered except this area. I'm going to cover this one with the lavender. But I'm not going this purple into the this orange one because it's going to be very bright orange. Okay, so all the flowers are covered. 
to one. Anything or the other. But I know it's only one thing that I have to do is I have to dry these things. Um, while this one flies, uh, flowers are drying out, maybe I'm going to just go for the uh, other area instead of uh, making it a bag be noise with a hair dryer. All right. Let's go for the, this one. I'm not liking this one going straight. Okay, I'm going to go for the red. Okay. I 
inside. Dry. So it's going to make a little noise. dry so now I just want to develop have some more color on the center part of the flower because we only have yellow and I like that now but if I wanted to have more of the red This one is central. So when I'm painting, kind of I have, I don't know what's going to come next. I just kind of do it, you know, every time I look at it. And if I think this is kind of, I have to do it, I do it. It's not like, I am planning from the beginning this way and that way, and it's gonna turn out that way because I just deal with what comes from the moment. And I have to I'm going to mark him on this. Actually, it has a little bit of more scala lake or but I think I'm just gonna put the red now to see. It's here. Ever since I, um, because I never watched my um, DVD, so I didn't realize um, what my habit was. And after I did this, this thing, so YouTube thing, and the uh, um, Zoom thing, I realized how fizzy I am. I think so, I'll just have some. Uh, 
Now we we'll move on to the center. I don't want to make this area too reddish because that's going to be more a little bit purplish. Okay, I think the center is kind of done and I'm just going to move on to the top. It's kind of hard to, I'm going to put this one upside down again. So I have to wait until this one tries completely. So I'm going to start to poke around a little bit of the um, little shadow, kind of it's kind of a darker side of the uh, little on the petal. Kind of petals are kind of bright, so I think I can start working on this a little bit. Now I'm going to use a little purplish. Since I have this one upside down, why not? I'm going to combine some of those 
little bit of red, permanent rose, and a little bit of uh, this purple. We are a little more reddish. I will add a little bit of red, and if it's more purplish, I will just kind of use just purple. I think you see it doesn't matter. So instead of doing detailed, I usually generally just make a very the uh, shade, like a, this shade is gonna give a uh, um, shape of the uh, iris folds. So I will just kind of do the largest one as possible. And I'm not trying to make everything at once. I will just do a little bit this part. I will blend this one out for that later. And I will move on to the next one. And blend this one out. I will just kind of leave it this one here. So we're going to go with this one. I'm going to turn this. So I'm developing this dark first. And this is the dark and 
Then after that, an hour starts developing more and more.
I'm sorry, there's no background noise because I don't have any uncopyrighted music nor movie. Okay, so while this one trying out, kind of slowly, I'm going to go for this. All right.
Okay, can I see this one? Um, I'm gonna wait until this one kind of try out more. And I wanted to apply some red under some of those kind of bottom. I see some red permanent rose on the bottom petal. It's not that much red, but. Going to have this side. It's probably we might be kind of a saving this frisket might be okay, but we're just gonna save it this way. This one seems like I'm just gonna keep checking if it dries. When I do this one, I'm checking if it dries 
the first right. So, okay, this is going to be. I'm going to look for where the red is. I think so. I have to have some red here too. Okay, where is the red? I'm heading for the shade. It would have been good if I had a frisket on it now. This one's going to be red. I will do frisket on it because it's uh, easier to save this. This is too bad, and I want to wait this one. Maybe I'm gonna go. This one. Otherwise, I have to paint around it. I don't want to.
serious with you. Okay. Um, if you see some of those kind of um, outline have a little bit of a white to it, the need is I don't think it's because of the white because I had to um, kind of cut and paste, just kind of move things around. So I have to select it and some of the white got probably. But it's kind of white still. I will just get this one when it dries out. There it is. Red, but I want to wait that red until it kind of dries out in here too. But I think I want to, yeah, I don't want just purple that's going to be looks a little bit dead looking. So
Okay, there's a tons of little thing to tweak it, but small one, I wanted to tweak after background is done because I think it's whatever it is right now, I am doing it properly. It's gonna be still too light because you have a, uh, I have a background very light. So uh, just kind of hard time going this one dark. So I think this one is kind of a pretty much, I think just kind of filters it. And I think so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put, well, there's a lot of little one, okay. Okay. I think so what I'm gonna do is, okay, I want to put something up here. So there's gonna be tons of things to uh, develop a little more. I think I'm gonna do a little more than what it is. Okay. This one has a little redder. I'm going to flip this one over because I have a hard time reaching it to high. All right, I think, I think frisky is dry. I will go for the bread. Thank you. 
Okay, I think this I am kind of a um, fear brave enough to put about this much at this point. What I'm going to do is I am going to put um, our green on it now. And after, um, if you have the source, you have a um, your uh, the reference photo that I gave you, and if you have that one in the Jeanette, try to do it if you want to. And uh, um, I will not paint more than uh, what I have today, and I will paint with you. So if you uh, have ready the next one, um, I might just do this one background and uh, probably we need to uh, tweak it. Let's see how it goes. This one has to be darker. All right, I think so I'm gonna um, kind of uh, step on the uh, flower and I'm gonna go for the uh, green. Green is gonna be the first green. Kind of this photo is a little bit too. I'm going to add maybe. A little bit of allergen and crimson to make a little deeper. So I don't like this just to. Too much red. Maybe um, when I start this one next time, uh, we're gonna start background first. And we're going to let this one completely dry. Then we shall see how after background done. Um, maybe I wanted to finish the background before uh, I restart this because the, yeah, after I do the background, that's going to be a little while to dry out. So probably it's better to do the background and start it. But sure, see how it goes. This is going to be under coat of the leaves.
and stems. And I want to do this one. Actually, a little greener is better on this one. I'm going to blend this one a little bit. Please. This is going to be bleed. It is okay. Okay, I'm going to put this one upside down.
Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think so. I'm going to make another leaps here. Okay. Well, what I will do is maybe I'm going to do uh, when we finish this one, maybe so I'm going to do the um, background. So when we come back, background is going to be all dried out. But it doesn't mean that it's going to background is going to be uh, finished, but at least some dark color is going to be there to uh, Okay, and maybe I'm just gonna bring this one up a little bit here. Oh, that's too much. Okay. All right, I think so that's what I did. And so, uh, so for the background, I think it's maybe I'm gonna, when I'm mixing this one, maybe it's gonna dry it out. I wanna make this one, I don't wanna make this kind of solid color. I wanna make something a mm, little bit lighter and darker. And then actually we can go for the second coat. So I think that this one, this might be kind of good time to do some different color. I'm gonna have some blue. I'm gonna have a blue and maybe even turquoise. I'm going to have some Prussian blue. Okay, Prussian blue. Yeah, I think so. I think this is the time I'm gonna use something that I don't use often. Maybe that's not a good thing to use. I'm gonna save this palette, well, maybe not, but this is the pressure through here. And I know that I have some color I can use to stay so far. For, I cannot find. I was looking for cerulean blue. But anyway, this we can just kind of use this. Why not? So this is like a um, hazy patty of a, a blue, but more likely, can you see it? Like a kind of a blue. But I like being this one, a little bit of an opaqueness to it. So that's why I want to have some Cerulean blue. I try, I cannot find it. Okay, next one, I'm gonna have a yellow. That's not a yellow. Okay, there's a yellow. And I have a 
lots of yellow, which is kind of I put the tube. What I did was after um, the tube doesn't come out or dried out, and I just kind of put water and I don't kind of just dip it, kind of just put it here and lots of them actually came out. So this is kind of uh, cadmium yellow deep or something. Just kind of messy, but all right. Got the yellow. And what color do I want? I don't want to use black, black right away because I want it to have some sort of a heavy green. This green's going to come out. Maybe red. I have lots of dirty red. Okay, I'm going to use it up. This one has uh, some cadmium red and permanent rose and allergen crimson and I don't know, all sorts of, uh, and I'm going to clean out and I'm going to clean my red palette to make a, so Kind of dirty red comes in here. Okay. And this is all sorts of a kind of red. Now we make a, so one thing that I wanted to make is I wanted to make sure um, background is covered with something so I can see the uh, flower better. I don't know, so, so many sorts of a bread. Use it. And I don't like actually using it as just red. So I have a black palette and I am going to use actually, hmm, what can I do? What I will do is I will just use. black into red so I don't have to have kind of too bright of color on the bottom I'm gonna put some clown there all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start from I think it's top because this one is gonna be more like a hodgepodge so uh, I don't have to worry about having marking because I want to tap and I don't mind doing marking. So I will start with so maybe just this, this is the first coat. So I am going to have probably because this is going to be too bright, I'm going to have a probably second or if I want to a third coat. So I'm not going to worry about making a marking. So top area, I wanted to have a little bit of a more bluish, greenish, some sort to kind of give you this little bit um, kind of a background of a, a kind of garden or something, the greenish. But I don't want to have kind of green green. So how this one is going to turn out, I shall see. But I 
I will just kind of this one, just leave it alone here because I will just kind of go for the, this area first and come back, start from here. A little bit go over instead of a snake right in the middle. Believe it or not, I forgot to um, attach the Okay, this side is actually kind of a, um, so I'm going to move on to side. It may get a blossom or marking on it, but I think it's, I'm expecting it, so it doesn't matter. It's going to be dry much lighter, so you can always go back.
So I'm loading it, kind of a lots of pigment into it. It's not pigment, it's kind of pigment and water. So it's not going to be, I'm going to add a little bit of a red different shade. So it just kind of moves the, the pigment itself is just kind of mingling together while I'm moving it. Okay, now it's kind of stopped it. So now I can actually do this one little by little. Okay, let's do for this part.
And I'm, I think you can actually uh, watch this one after uh, stream is over because the last one um, was uh, uh, deleted because he's blocked it from the YouTube because I was watching TV and that um, I didn't realize that TV can actually record it. Can I, it was a, a audible, so I thought I, I was the only one who can listen. So it got blocked. But this one, I have nothing going on. So you can actually watch. So this is my first code with the background and, and kind of, as you can see, just kind of too, even if it's dark, it's very uh, light. It's kind of high key for me. So we can turn this one down when we come back, somehow turn this down. All right, I think this is pretty good. I did actually within a kind of two hours, I did actually pretty good. So I am not going to touch this one until uh, we meet again. So we can actually do this one together. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Okay, bye. I think this one is pretty good. Okay, so I can see. All right. Bye bye. I think I'm going to go on here. Um, four. All right. So can you see this one? I think I'm going to put this one on the side so you can see everything. Okay, that's better. This way. This way. You see, it looks kind of very pale. So um. Next time uh, when we come back, we can actually go for the detail. Can you see how light that is? And we can actually make a, a lot more darker and detail and just kind of tweak it to make it better. And I think it's background, some of the area we can go darker and some of the area we can just kind of keep it as a lighter. Uh, maybe hopefully so I can find cerulean so it's make it a little kind of opaque to it. So kind of calm down that is kind of uh, white paper of the white. So uh, that's how it goes. So talk to you later. See you later. I'm here uh, next time. Okay, bye-bye.